Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane and I'm a second year medical student. Today I'm going to be talking about how to do well in your pre-med and undergrad classes. But before I get started, let me just put in two disclaimers. The first is that there is no substitute for hard work. You're going to have to put in the hours, especially if you want to learn something well. And I know a lot of you guys who are thinking of going to med school will need to take MCATs later on. So it's a lot easier to put in the hours and learn something well the first time than to struggle and learn it later on. My second disclaimer is that everyone studies differently. So just because one thing works for someone else may not mean it's going to work for you. So what I've done is I've compiled a list of tips after thinking about how I studied and what went well for me. And after looking at like what some of my classmates did and what they thought went well for them as well. My first tip, and this is one that's applicable to high school, undergrad, and even med school, is to learn how to take good notes. So generally speaking, professors will teach what they want you to know. They'll emphasize what they think is important, and usually those are things that will come up later on the exam. So when I'm in class and I'm taking notes, um, it doesn't matter if you're handwriting or typing notes, whatever works for you, but if a professor emphasizes something or repeats something, or they might even say, hey, this was an exam question in the past, what I'll do is I'll star it, I'll underline it, triple underline it, or I'll even like put a big box around it, and I'll write exam question, all caps next to it. I find that this is really helpful because it helps you pay attention in class so that you're not like dozing off. Um, and also when you're reviewing your notes, when you're preparing for the exam, it helps you like kind of hone in on what you need to focus on. If you're having trouble taking notes in class just because the professor speaks so fast or there's so much information, another good tip that I have is to form a study group. Now, when I say study group, there's a lot of reasons why people form study groups. The first may be to compile notes. The second may be to review. Um, but there's lots of ways to utilize your study group um, in ways that are more helpful for you. Another thing that I found to be really helpful in undergrad was going to the TA's or the professor's office hours. Um, normally, my professors would hold them like the week before an exam and we would go in and ask questions and I found that they would often emphasize what they thought was important. So most likely, whatever questions would come up on the exam later on. If you do find that you are really struggling in a class, there's no shame in asking for help or getting a tutor of some sort. Now, I know there's a lot of stigma with that, especially in high school and undergrad, but that's kind of something that you'll need to get over if you want to get into med school. No one gets into med school on accident. Um, even in medical school, there's a lot of academic services and academic counselors that are available, and it's really common for students to use them. You know, there's always ways where you can study better or study more effectively or create a better schedule for yourself to study. So the next tips in my video are kind of based on the fact that when you think of your pre-med classes, there are ones that are memorization heavy and then there are ones that are problem solving heavy. So when I think of memorization classes, I kind of think of biology and psychology. And when I think of problem solving classes, I think of like chemistry, orgo, and physics. And then of course you'll have classes that are a little bit in between of both. Um, so for example, biochemistry for me in undergrad was both like a lot of memorization, but then application and problem solving at the same time. So first, I'm going to talk about the classes that are memorization heavy. Um, like I mentioned, biology, psychology, a little bit of biochem, um, but I definitely feel your pain there. Med school is a lot of memorization and I'm always looking for ways to make my studying more effective. The one thing that's proven to work is time separated active recall. So time separated. What that means is instead of trying to memorize everything in one sit down, what's most effective is if you look at it time and time again. An active recall means that you yourself are generating the information. For example, reading is a form of passive recall because someone or something is giving you the information. When you're actively recalling something, you're the one generating or seeing the information. Now there's many ways that people do this, and you guys probably know some of them, but one way um, that's most common is when people create flashcards and they test themselves that way. Another thing that people do is they do Q&A with a buddy or with like a study group. One thing that I have found to be really helpful is to create a table, and the table will list things that you'll need to memorize. And what I've done is I've just covered one side of it and seen if I can actively recall or state the information that I'm supposed to memorize. And this is also a great way to study with someone who may not be in your class or studying the same thing as you. So what I've often done is I've created a list or a table and I've given it to my boyfriend and asked him, like, hey, can you quiz me on this? And I find it's like a really great way to test myself to see if I know the information. If you guys are interested in this, I can create a whole other video with more specifics because um, it's something that I've worked on for a really long time and gotten pretty good at since I've been in med school. 
Now, the other type of classes that you'll have in pre-med are those that are problem-solving heavy. And I'll be very honest, these were not my strong suit when I was an undergrad, but I worked really hard at them and I ended up doing well. The one thing that I found to be super helpful in these classes is to do lots and lots of practice problems. Now, when I was an undergrad, I found that we oftentimes didn't have a lot of homework, or even if we did, we wouldn't do all the practice problems in the textbook. And I found that doing those in my spare time were incredibly helpful. Now, if you don't have any of those available to you, another thing I found to be extremely helpful was to go online and to look for practice problems, and there's so many out there. But the trick with those is to really focus on what your professor has talked about in class. So those are my tips for how to do well in your pre-med classes. I hope that you guys found them helpful. If you guys have any more questions, comments, or suggestions, I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.